Hi and welcome back. Today I have a fun card making video where I will be making three cards with cuts and hearts. For all three cards I will be using the same stamp set for both my cuts and the sentiments, but I will play with different heart dies. I'm starting with the heart air balloon. This gives you all the pieces that you need, a heart that is going to uh, be a balloon, as well as a basket and little pieces that you can place on top of the balloon to make it look more uh, interesting. You can die cut everything from white cardstock and color it in with your uh, markers or any other coloring medium. I decided to go with colored cardstock, so I have two shades of pink for the balloon and yellow for the basket. It's really easy to put this together. I'm going to stick the yellow piece and uh, hopefully you can see that it has some detail that um, the die adds on top of that basket. And then for the top heart, there are some um, uh, scoring lines there. I don't know if you can tell them. I'm just going to try and catch the light for you. So I know exactly where I'm supposed to stick the rest of the pieces. For my background, I did use one of the dies from these clouds. This is a favorite die and I keep using it again and again and I know I will be using it in the future a lot just because I know that I like to create uh, little scenes. So uh, I need to stamp the sentiment on top of that cloud before I stick it on top of a card and it becomes quite bulky. And for all the cards today, I will be using this adorable cut uh, stamp set. It's a small stamp set, but it uh, has six designs of cuts in different positions, as well as three sentiments. And you will see most of those uh, designs used today in throughout the cards. There are merchandise available. You, you saw that I keep them in the same packaging, but they are sold separately. So since I'm going to do the stamping for the sentiment, I will also do the stamping for the cut. I feel like the cut was quite small so that it would fit inside my basket for the hot air balloon. And the fun part is that you can go through your stars and find out different little uh, creatures that you can stamp and fit inside that balloon. You can even add flowers coming out. I think it would make a really cute card as well. And it's time to do the um, assembly of my card. I'm using glue at the back of uh, the clouds and I'm going to stick it on a panel which is smaller than the standard card. I'm sticking that completely flat. Since I'm planning to add some dimension on the hot air balloon. Now I'm going to use my scissors and make it nice and neat. And I'm going to use foam squares at the back of the heart, the back of the basket, as well as on the cut. Now for the cut I did use my alcohol markers to color it in. And of course I was inspired by my very own cut, Ginger. This gives you the ability to personalize the card, so if the recipient has a card, you can follow their own colors. Now, I just used two shades of orange here, and I left the belly white, just like my ginger. Then I used the matching dye to cut it out. And now I have all the pieces that I need to put my card together. I have my hotter balloon on an angle so that I have a little bit of a movement on my card and I'm going to stick that with foam tape at the back on top of my card base. You can add embellishments if you like, like little gems here and there. I decided to keep it nice and simple. And you can see here some close-up photos. To change things up a bit for the next card, I'm going to use this heart that has those lines and I'm placing it on a square pink panel. If you want, you can use a simple heart die for that. I just went with this one just because it's a new product and I wanted to add something more interesting on my card. Other than that, I'm going for a shaker card. So I am going to go at the back with my double-sided tape and make sure that I apply a lot all over. I'm going to peel it off and then stick on top my acetate piece. We all get a lot of acetate with packaging, so just use those pieces and reuse them when you want to create a shaker card. Now I'm using foam tape and I'm going all around the heart to create kind of a wall which is going to 
keep inside all the elements, the shaker elements that I decide to use. If you peel off both the sides of a foam tape, then you are able to uh, give it a curve, just like I'm doing here. I'm going for a big square card, and this is five and a quarter by five and a quarter. You can make your own specific envelope for this card, but there are also available in the market for this size. Now I am adding my confetti, which is white but iridescent, it kind of picks the um, uh, color from around. And I'm going to place my panel on top. Now if you want to use your standard envelopes, you can always make your uh, square card base 4 and a quarter by 4 and a quarter, which is going to ensure that it's going to fit on your standard envelopes. Now I did stamp and color one of the cards, again just like I did for the first card, and just because I want to have her uh, tail curled up around those lines on the heart die, I'm going to chop a little bit so that I can separate it from the main body. If you can find a way to kind of interact the elements that you have on top of a card, just do it, I think that it brings all the elements together. And that's exactly what I did with the cut and the tail here. It seems like the cut is rubbing on one of those lines, which is something cuts always do. Now, I do have um, a sentiment, again from the same stamp set with the cuts, which I did stamp with black ink on this uh, white cardstock that I cut out with one of the banner dies that I have. These are the ones that I use again and again, and they have that lovely stitching. I'm not going to add any extra gems or embellishments, after all this is a shaker card, which makes it super fun. For my next card I used the heart race die and I cut it out using different colors of pattern paper, getting kind of an ombre look all the way from red to light pink. Now, with my pen on a scrap piece of paper, I'm just drawing on the inside of the hard tie so that I can cut it out roughly inside the lines. And this will ensure that this piece is going to be smaller than the actual card. This is not going to show at all. I just want to use that as a base so that I can put the heart together on top of something. And this way I will be able to pop it on top of my card. Hope that makes sense. I'm using glue as I go, apply a little bit of glue, stick on top the first piece and then I will go all the way to the top. You see that uh, the pieces that I stick on top are bigger than the base heart, which is exactly what I was going for. This way I won't have any white uh, cardstock peeking through from the sides. I did add foam squares at the back of this heart and I'm going to stick it on top of my panel. At this stage you can stamp your sentiment if you like, I decided to stamp it on a banner instead and I did do some white embossing here, again the sentiment comes from the same stamp set as the cards. You see that I did use two cards again from the same stamp set, I did color them the exact same way as I did for the first card and I just chose two different positions, having one cut looking up and the other cut looking down because I had this idea of sticking one of them on top of the banner and the other one on top of the heart. And if you noticed, I did drop my cut on top of my card base while it had glue at the back. The good thing about using Nuvo Deluxe glue is that it's not shiny, it's going to dry completely clear and it's not going to show at the end. You can always use glue eraser or even stick a little gems here and there which are excellent for covering up booboos. So these were all the three cards that I made for today. With cuts and hearts I kept everything quite clean and simple so they are really easy to recreate and mass produce and I'm going to send these three cards to one of you. So leave me a comment down below and I will pick three winners. I'm going to send you one of these cards with my message on a post-it note so you can peel it off and reuse the card. I will reply to the three winners on Friday with all the info that I need. Thank you all so much for joining me today. You will find the links to everything I used down below in the description area. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. 
I hope that you had fun, that you got inspired, and I'll see you all next time.